and welcome back to the channel. And on this video, I've got my friend Keith. How are you doing, Keith? Pretty good, Mark. And Keith is going to ride the Lyric, not the Lyric, <laughs> it's the Aerial Rider Grizzly right there. Beast. The Beast. And I'm going to ride Keith's E-Move Cruiser S right there. 52 volt. Uh, what is it, Pika? 2600 watts. Is that what they say? I thought it was 1600. Right? 1600, yeah. yeah. 1600. I'm thinking of a bike. Yeah. Okay. So 1600, that's pretty impressive, though. So this will be my second time ever on a scooter, and it'll be on the same one as I rode before. So let's go for a ride. Keith is going to follow behind on the Aerial Rider Grizzly. So it's windy out here, so this could be a tricky ride. And we're going to wait for this traffic to get out of the way. So is this, uh, do I have to kick to go or just throw No, it? I have a set to or it just takes off on it. Okay. Okay, I'm turning on your batteries right here. Okay. And that should be fully charged. Okay. Should be 100%. Power's on. It's just on the rear motor right now too, right? I believe so, yeah. Take it easy just to see for sure. Yeah. Sometimes it gets swapped. Okay, here we go. This is my... Second time on a scooter, and really this will be a little bit longer ride than the first time I just did a quick first impression ride. Takes a little getting used to, I can say that. Oh, that brake hits pretty good. And here comes Keith behind on the Aerial Rider Grizzly. It's got cruise control on, right? Oh yeah, it probably does. Okay, because I uh, could tell after I got going there. Okay, so it does have cruise control and the cruise control is on. So once you hold it down for, I think it's eight seconds, cruise control kicks in. And if you can see that speedometer there, I can really feel that wind moving me. We're going at 21 miles per hour. Yeah, the wind gives it a little extra challenge here. I can definitely feel that. And this is definitely different than riding a the bike, I can say that for sure. It's a completely different feeling. Alright. Let's see how it handles this little hill here. Full throttle. You feel some raindrops coming down. It's gradually picking up speed, 17 miles an hour. One thing I can uh, say is the cruise control is a little funny to get used to uh, uh, when you hit the brake. Yeah. And then uh, also the uh, the brakes grab pretty good, don't they? Yeah, that that uh, regen brake does. Yeah, you can feel that. So when it's on cruise control, if you hit the throttle again, that I think that takes it off, right? Or something. Uh, you have to hold it down for like eight seconds to get, and then it comes on automatically, right? Yeah. Then you. So if I double hit it, it should take it off. I think it does. Okay, let me try that. Okay. So let's see here. We're off again. Yeah. So if you hit the, uh, it's a thumb throttle on this. If you hit it twice, then it takes off the uh, cruise control. I think with the scooter, I think I prefer, I think I prefer it to have no cruise control on the scooter, unless I'm going longer distance. Okay, because it gets annoying, right? Yeah, it if does. you have to stop a lot. But if you didn't have to stop, I think it's fine. It's in the 
Yeah. So, uh, like I was just saying to Keith there, I think uh, as we go right directly into that wind, I think I would prefer the uh, cruise control off. Unless I was going long distance and didn't have to stop on a good stretch of road, you know, or whatever, then I would probably prefer it. It would give your thumb a little rest, but... Yeah, I think the uh, the number one thing I find is uh, the stopping. Okay. I think is the big. It seems to have a pretty good pickup though. Like it gets going pretty Not... good. I didn't have it full throttle yet, but I had it at 21 miles an hour. Yeah, it's decent enough. Oh yeah. It's got plenty. Of... And we're going into a pretty good wind. It is resisting. Okay, so we're back up. Yeah, that wind. It's really tricky. Now this is one thing that we're with the bike a little easier to stop at stops but on this scooter it's a little more difficult to stop and jump off every time so this is where you'd want to actually slow down and just do a yield if you're able to in your location and then just go again because coming to a stop and jumping off all the time is not the greatest Yeah, it got going pretty good there. When you get on cruise control too, it'll keep you at 17 or whatever miles per hour. Yeah. And then you forget, you think, oh, is this full throttle? But no, you've got cruise control on. Yeah, you got to kind of hit it again. Like you hit it once and then take it off cruise control. And then you have to hit it again to actually get it going again. You know, it's a little weird. Okay, so we're just going to go around and, and go up there and then we'll talk. I'll talk a little bit about what I thought. Okay. Comes a car again. I think we saw this truck earlier yeah. when we were going He's to take off. This electric truck too. Yeah, it's a nice truck. I like it. Yeah, those are both are electric trucks. The Rivian. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Expensive. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna go up to that stop sign and come back and do a see how fast I can go to here and then come back and talk about it. Okay. So I'll wait for you right here then. Okay. So I'm gonna do one more up and back here. I'm gonna do a speed test. I think 
if I remember the first time I did a ride on this scooter, I think I got it up to about 25 miles an hour was the top speed. So let's see what it'll do. Okay, it looks like I can do a little Yui right here. Okay, so let's see, it's a very slight downhill, but it's pretty pretty straight. Pretty uh flat. Let's see. I'm going into a wind, so this isn't good. Probably should do it going the other way. So there I got it up to uh, 24. So let's uh, go back and see what we can get. Okay, here we go. Get around this corner. Well, nope. 24 looks like the fastest I can get it to. Okay, so I did a twice up and back. Okay. Because I wanted to, uh, because it was a headwind, right? And so I thought, oh, is that, ca you know, is that causing me to slow down? I got the 24. Does that sound about 24? right? 24. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and that's pretty good though for a scooter, right? Not yeah, bad. Oh, yeah. For because a lot of times you're going to be on a, a shared path, maybe, and you can't go. Heck, you might not be able to go more than 10 to 15 miles an hour most times, right? So... How fast were you going down the hill? Uh, you were moving pretty good. 24. I thought it was going to be different. It was about the same going this direction and that direction. And it goes up the hill pretty It, it does. Too. So here... Now, I've ridden it twice now. This was a little longer ride, so I had a little better... Uh, um, I think I have a little better feel for it. Okay. So... First of all, it, it rides smooth, you know, considering, yeah. you know, it's just a scooter. I think those tires, and it has a suspension, right? The so, entry level scooter. Yeah, so bad. you know what? It wasn't that bad for that. The one thing that was tricky is the uh, cruise control, but now that I know that you do it twice and take that off, because I think it's a little tricky riding around here. Like if you were riding out somewhere where you're going longer distance without having to stop, I'd say I'd like the cruise control, but I think for short, quick, stops and starts i think i'd rather have it off yeah you just go into the custom settings you turn it off i forgot what number it is but yeah are you the same way with that do you like it it does get annoying you know you know driving from stop like or stop sign to stop sign i would rather on a long ride i would have it on because sometimes you want to slow down speed up slow down speed up yeah then it gets annoying because you have yeah. to hit it once and then you forget you're like why is it not going right and then all you have to hit it again and then all of a sudden it just goes you know so that part uh it was it was tricky and then the other one for me was the brake okay that, that is a little grabby it seems to me like it grabs you pretty like at first well that's the e uh braking right that's the regenerative braking yeah and i think i think because the the uh, graffiti has the thumb and you can gradually it's this, nice and smooth maybe because yours isn't full up here like it's i don't know it just uh that's a little grabby it's at first either so on or off right yeah. so it takes a little getting used to that it's not as nice as the lyric and um but other than that i like it i like it was good it takes a little getting used to turning still it's a little tricky and the wind today it's kind um, of more like you want to look where you're turning yeah that's but i trick. but i think the more you ride this the, like i felt better today riding it than the first time i could oh, i felt sure. more comfortable i knew more what i was doing after a couple of rides and 
it's awesome yeah yeah so i think it's one of those things that i think the more you ride it the more comfortable and better it feels and i think then too though i could see somebody saying a little bit faster a little bit faster oh, maybe yeah. you know just a little more like you probably oh, yeah. already you definitely want to so you might want a little bit more when you're comfortable with it but for just the average person that's just going to ride you know just around it's a great basic commuter scooter that's, right that's for just around town is. kind of thing it, it it's great you can get into places where you're not going to get even with the bike so if that's you have a, a need plus. for speed yeah you're definitely going to want something yeah i mean some of them are extreme where they go 80 miles an hour i don't know if i'd want to be on a scooter going 80 miles an hour hit a little pothole or something and off you go but um but maybe 30 you know 30 35 you might be able to yeah because they claim this one gets to 30 but as you you know you tried it and i'm about and the battery is 180 charged. pounds it's not so fully charged that might have something to do with it no, oh, that could be yeah. Uh, it's only at 50 volt. That goes all the way up to 58. Oh yeah, that could that could be a little bit of difference there. It may it may go 27. Maybe? Yeah, because I know I've got up to 27. Yeah, so that sounds that's like it might be. The difference. Yeah, so that's pretty good. That's like a class three, right? 28 miles an hour is class three, so. Right. Yeah, because class two is a throttle. Right? But yeah, overall, I would say yeah, I like it. Um, oh yeah. It's and. Uh, nice Can't wait to take, take out to the gorge. Oh yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have some fun this summer. I know it for sure. Well, hopefully well, you can go with us one of these times. Yeah. Well, thanks for uh, coming on the channel, Keith, yeah, and sharing your scooter. And we took it for another ride. And hey, if you want to get one of these, I do have a link in the description. And I do have a discount code. It could save you $50 on an eMove Cruiser S or any other scooter on their site. So check that out. Voro Motors. They got a lot of stuff. Yeah, they got some you know fancy scooters on there too. Yeah. So, I mean, depending on what your budget is, they probably have just about one to fit anyone's budget so that's the eMove Cruiser S so thank you for joining me on this video if you like the video hit that like button if you want to subscribe to the channel and support us thank you very much for doing that just hit that subscribe button and if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video go ahead and leave that in the comments below and once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time see you guys <laughs> keep your wheels on the road <laughs> see you later